Our guest is Dennis Grinberg. Dennis, great to see you. Thanks for coming. Good to see you too, Carl. Tell us a little bit about your background and what you do. My background um, is in computer science. I started as uh, computer science and mathematics. Over the years, I've been involved with a number of companies in the Pittsburgh area and in different roles in there. I'm currently a software engineering manager at Eaton Corporation. So you're a real techie. Uh, you could say that. How long have you been involved with Blue Knot? Pretty much since the beginning. Um, I remember the first, it might have been the first event, or the first event I was at anyway, was at Hillel. I uh -huh. don't know if that was the first one or not. but that, Was that with the Israelis? I remember one with the Indian group there, but I think there was one even before that that I was okay. at. What, uh, uh, what's one of the best things you've gotten out of Blue Knot? Well, as an individual, I think one of the, one of the best things is just made a great number of contacts, and they've helped me in, in numerous ways. For example, um, at Eaton Corporation, in my role as a software engineering manager there, we were considering bringing a certain technology in to manage some of our software development processes. Through one of the contacts at Blue Knot, uh, I met someone that works at UPMC. They had gone through a similar, you know, s a similar situation. They actually brought this technology in-house. I not only could pick that person's brain, but actually I brought him over to Eaton. He gave a demonstration. He talked about some of, the, some of what UPMC went through when they made this transition. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that you know really helped solidify our decision. So, did you end up moving forward with that? We ended up moving forward, and I like to think it was a success. <laughs> great, great. Has there been a uh, particular Blue Knot event that stood out in your mind? Well, I I, I think I'm probably a little biased, but I the one that we hosted I think is certainly the you know, go ahead the, okay. the best one. But let, let me, you know, that goes without saying. Other than that, there's been a lot of really good events. If I had to pick one other, I'd probably pick the one that was at CMU at uh, Scilab. And I think the reason is because we often don't get to see a lot of the research that goes on in our very backyard at the universities in town. Mm -hmm. And that really provided the opportunity for a diverse group of people to get inside the campus and see, see some of the cool stuff that's going on. Okay, so now tell us about the one at Eaton. Okay, it was, uh, it was a great event. Um, it was during the winter. It was a little far out, so we didn't get quite the turnout that maybe, you know. I was there. It was you a were great there. I'm turnout. Glad, I'm glad you were there. Um, it was a great opportunity. It was, we got a lot of good press out of it. We had an article in the Post-Gazette. Um, if, if you think about Eaton and the businesses that it's in, a lot of the, you know, a, a lot of our, our competition and, our, and the people we work with, they know Eaton is a lot more than a manufacturing company. Um, Eaton's really a high-tech company, and that Blue Knot event provided us with the opportunity to get that message out to a much wider community, um, the greater Pittsburgh community, and a great diverse group of people. And I have to tell you, I still have people coming up to me, and they're not only telling me about how much they learn at the event, they're also telling me about what they learned about the company at the event. So overall, a lot, of good, a lot of good press. That's great. Well, thanks for doing the hosting. Thanks for being an active member, and oh, thanks we're for talking. Thank you so much. Okay, Bye. great.